How many times you have said something to somebody and they completely overreacted and misunderstood what you were saying? Plenty, right? It certainly happened plenty of times to me and I always wondered why. I'm gonna tell you a story. I had a session on Zoom with four or five people and during this session we wrote the song Be Heard. These people did not know each other and yet those stories were very complimentary. One of them really got stuck with me. There is this lady who went to a party and there was a woman at this party who was very drunk, a bit too drunk, and she started making a fool out of herself. So this lady went to her and said like, you know, I know how it feels, it's okay, it can happen. And the woman started going like, why are you trying to make me feel embarrassed? Why are you doing this? And then a whole like massive reaction and massive argument stemmed out of it. And of course, at first, when the lady told the story, she was like, you know, I was completely misunderstood and it was not my fault at all. So I asked her, can you just stop for a minute, take a deep breath, go into a deeper state, go back to that time and try to find what you were feeling right before you went to talk to her. Were you by any chance feeling embarrassed for her? And the answer was, yes, I, I was feeling embarrassed. So what's really interesting is that she felt embarrassed for the woman and then went to try to help her. But what the woman picked up was the embarrassment. And that created a whole big argument because the lady felt misunderstood and the other one was just picking up the feeling. And what this teaches us is that feelings arrive first. So it's not what you say, but what you feel that gets communicated to the other person. And whatever you say will be interpreted based on the feelings that you communicated. And this is really interesting because when we are in a state of pressure, you are not able to connect with the deeper feelings that are coming through you. And so you can't really do anything but go with the flow. What you can do later, find a deep state of meditation, go back to that moment and try to remember exactly how you feel. And nine times out of 10, the other person will have captured something of that feeling. And this means we need to learn to get in touch with our feelings a lot more when we're not under pressure, so that when the pressure comes, we're more likely to communicate what we feel or make the decision of not communicating at all. Because that's a good option sometimes, isn't it? How many times you thought, oh, I wish I didn't say anything. You couldn't because you were feeling something and that feeling had already gone through. So now we are going to listen to the song Be Heard and use it to find a deeper state to improve our effective communication. Take a deep breath. Breathe in deeply, as deep as you can, more than you usually do. Breathe out very slowly. And as you breathe out, allow the natural decompression of the body to send a wave of relaxation throughout all the muscles. And then fall deeply inside your hands. Aim to find a sensation of tingling, fullness and warmth inside your hands. Concentrate on them. The fullness makes them feel as if they were immersed in a thick, warm liquid or cloud about 10 centimeters around the hands and we aim to fall deep inside a state of flow, to find the zone, to find a state of concentration, of focus. Stay with the sensation of the tingling, fullness and warmth. Stay with the warmth and the temperature. And now, remember a time when you were misunderstood. Go to that time and without reliving the whole situation, go a few minutes before. Before you said that one thing that triggered the argument, that triggered the misunderstanding. And try to find how you felt. Allow that feeling to build. And try to remember how this feeling was communicated through your words, even if the words were saying something different. 
stay with that feeling and now try to find it in different situations like other events other misunderstandings and now allow the music to help you record this feeling so that you know it so that the next time that something similar arises and that feeling appears you will have a chance to act differently or to just not communicate at all if what you're feeling is not in line with what you're going to say So now remember if you want to be heard maybe you'll just have to listen first Fears. I can't confront you. It stirs inside, so I'd rather stay quiet and get crushed. Will anyone listen? I feel small. be made for an all just wanna have how embarrassing my speaking my truth through my lying to myself and others why is he hearing why is he hearing what if I before I talk how can Why is she hearing? What if I felt before? 